Let's see what we got. So that's a bummer. I can't pick it up today because their trade system is down. Eh, that was in the neighborhood. Let's go see if I can find any more games at Value Pond. Let's go. All right, so I think I had a pretty successful run. I was gonna film clips of what they had because they actually had quite a few things, but there were a couple other guys who were awkwardly like also looking at the same time as me. So I kind of just grabbed what I could and left. I originally brought up four games, three on Xbox and one on PS4. Two of the games I put back because they were just asking for it too much, but I think I did well with these that I picked up. And then one game I saw in the case, it was a pretty decent price, but I was able to get it down even further, and I think it was a slam dunk because of that. So two of these I got to flip, and one of them I got to add to my collection. So I paid a grand total of 35 bucks plus tax for these. So one game was 20, one game was 10, and one game was five. So I think I did pretty well. First up, we have Mafia 3 on the Xbox One. I know this game trades in for at least five bucks. So with the bonus, I'll get an extra buck or two. It's not a huge bump, but like, you know, it's a little bit and it's free money, so might as well do it. So that's an extra dollar fifty, two bucks added to my trade fund. The big score, and this one I knew was gonna be a score as soon as I saw it, because I know this game trades in for a lot. Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Xbox One. I already have this. I picked it up a while ago for 10 bucks, and now I picked it up again for 10 bucks, although this one looks pretty much brand new. So this should be worth probably 15, 16 before the bonus. So I should do pretty well. I, I should basically double my money and trade on this one. So pretty happy with that. And then the last one, I'm gonna keep it. They had did actually have a few Switch games. And usually when pawn shops have Switch games, at least to my knowledge, they usually overprice them pretty heavily, like they'll ask like 40 bucks for NBA 2K20 because of the Switch game. They actually had a couple in there that were chip only, but they were like reasonably priced. So I asked about one, they looked it up and originally quoted me 25. So I asked, well, would you do 20? And they agreed. Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. I paid 20 bucks for that which is a very good price for a first party Nintendo game. You'd never see that game any lower than like 45, and that's if it's on sale. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I got three good games, two of which I can flip for a profit at GameStop, and one of which I can add to my Switch collection. So pretty solid pickups. All right, so this week is gonna be a lot of unboxings and packages from GameStop because I have several orders that I placed over the last couple weeks that have taken quite a long time to come in. They're all starting to come in this weekend, so expect a lot of packages from a bunch of different orders. Uh, of course, pretty much every order that I placed was split into multiple packages, so I think I'm getting like seven or eight packages for only three orders. But the orders that I placed, all of them were deals. So some of them were just summer sale stuff. Some of them were deal of the day. Uh, one, I got a bunch of PS4 games back when they were buy three, get two free. So I got a nice bundle there. I also got some other really good deals on both new games and pre-owned games. So there's a nice bunch here that you're gonna see. I got the first one today, only one, but tomorrow I think I'm supposed to get three or four. So tomorrow's gonna be a lot more crazy. But here's the first one and I know what game it is. So let's go take a look and see the condition. It's like sticky. I don't like this packing, really. All right, so our first new game is Chivalry 2 on the Xbox Series X. If you don't know what this game is, it is essentially a multiplayer, first person, medieval battle game. So kind of like For Honor, but a little different. It, it's more focused on like medieval and classic warfare. It looks fun. The only reason why I picked it up is because it was, it, this came out like a month ago. It's pretty new. And I found it on GameStop's website for 30 bucks as part of their um, summer sale. So I'm like, you know, for that price, might as well grab it. 
Honestly, out of the three games I picked up for the lot that included this one, this is the one I'm the least excited about. But I'm excited to try it out and I might play it on stream perhaps if you want to see me play it. But yeah, looks like fun. I heard it's pretty good. I have two other games coming in this slot tomorrow, I believe, that are a little bit more exciting as well as a bunch of other stuff. So stay tuned. But here's the first new game of this lot of packages I'm getting from GameStop. Chivalry 2, brand new on the Xbox Series X. I know was, I was just here like a few days ago, but you know what? Maybe things have changed. It's on my way. Plus, I need some more games to trade in. So see if I can find any more things back at value pond let's go nothing today there were a couple games that i was looking at from last week to try to pick up just because i could probably get a decent profit on them but they were gone the only game left that i i sincerely thought about at least trying to talk them down from is they did have still the loose copy of pikmin 3 on the switch which even if I got it, they're probably gonna ask for 25. And even if I got it for 20, I'd only be able to profit like 10 bucks, 10 to 12 bucks on it. And that's still kind of on the pricey side. I'd rather try to spend that on games that I can profit more on. So I'm gonna pass. Plus I have two more pawn shops I need to go to anyway on the way home. So I figure I'll just hold off and check out the other pawns. So we'll see what else I can find. You know what time it is. It's Cash America time. Let's take a look, see what I can find this week. Let's go. All right, so I just finished up in there. Went pretty well. I had to put a little bit more money down on my Wii U, which I still need to pay off. So I'll, I'll keep working on that. But I also found something else cool in there that I might be picking up. So stay tuned for that. I did pick up two games, nothing major. One is a slight bump. And then one I picked up for a platform I don't own, but it's a game that I like, and I figured for the price they're offering, why not? So for starters, we have Grand Theft Auto V. I've traded this game in all the friggin' time. It's worth five bucks in trade-in, plus with a bonus, I'll get like 650, so it's a dollar extra, which, I mean, that's something, I guess. The other game that I picked up is Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects for the PSP. They had a bunch of PSP games in there. And there were some pretty decent ones. That's the one that stuck out to me is like one that I think might be worth picking up. I don't own a PSP. Maybe I will eventually again. It's been a long time since I have owned one, but I figured, you know, might as well grab it. Uh, they only wanted two bucks for it. So I figured for two bucks, might as well grab it. Worst comes to worst, I could probably flip for profit since PSP games are on the rise. So two games, seven bucks, not terrible. Now to head over to Value Pond and hope that they've got something good that I can trade in the GameStop. So we'll see. All right, one last stop before I had the game stop. Value pawn number two. Let's see what they got. All right, so I did pick up a couple things, nothing crazy. I wouldn't call it like a super successful run, but I should be able to profit a little bit on these. Not much, but a little bit. Every little bit helps, I guess. Paid 13 for both of these total. First one I picked up is Mortal Kombat 11 on the PS4. I picked that game up all the time. It's worth seven bucks in trade-in, plus the bonus, it should be up to like nine. So not terrible. That's the main one that I did pretty well on. The other one is The Last of Us Remastered. Again, didn't, I think I paid like five or six bucks for that, something like that. So I'll get a little bit more than what I paid, but not by much. So not the most successful. Unfortunately, it does look like I am gonna have to trade in Luigi's Mansion 3 in order to get Skyward Sword. It's unfortunate because I did want to try to keep it, but I mean, We'll see. If I'm close, maybe I can front it without having to trade it in, but we'll, we'll find out when we get there. So now let's head over to GameStop. I'll trade in the games that I've got, pick up a couple more, and head home. All right, long last, we're back at GameStop. Let's see what we got. So that's a bummer. I can't pick it up today because their trade system is down. So I wouldn't say all the work that I did today to get these extra games was for nothing, because I'm, I'm gonna still get the new games but I can't pick it up today because the system's down. So I do have to come back over here tomorrow anyway because I have to go grocery shopping. So I guess I'll pick them up tomorrow, but that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to pick those up today, but it is what it is. I still have it reserved. So worst comes to worst, I'll just have to wait a little bit of extra time before I can pick them up, but no big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna head home now. So I've been out all day running errands and doing stuff and 
I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. It's hot. So let's go do that. All right. We have two more packages from GameStop. I'm not exactly sure which orders these came from because they're all kind of blended together now. I believe each of these only have one game in them though. So let's see how we did. First one up. <laughs> okay. The first game we have is a game that I got specifically to play on our Let's Play Bad Game series because I know this game is bad. It was real cheap though. I have a hunch if I waited longer, it probably would have continued to drop in price, but I figured for the price I got it for, it was worth it. Balan Wonderworld. That's right, we have it. Uh, it says $18.99, it's actually was cheaper. I got it for 15 because I got a discount on it. So if you don't know what this is, this is a game that came out this year, actually only a few months ago from the creator of Sonic and Square Enix. It was intended to be this like gigantic, big return to form for platformer games. And apparently it is not that, it is absolute garbage. So we're gonna play it on the channel at some point for Let's Play Bad Games. So you'll be able to see how bad Balan Wonderworld really is. So that's one. And the other one is, that was quick. Okay. Wasteland 2 on the Xbox One. Got this is part of my third bundle of games. So interesting, this one got here as quick as it did. This game I only paid like four bucks for because I needed some games to pad a deal so that I could get free shipping. And this was one that I found for five bucks. Looks to be in pretty good shape. It is complete, but I think the reason why this game is so cheap, because I only paid four bucks for it, is it is on Game Pass because in exile. But still, physical copy, it looks pretty minty. So I will take that. So two more games down to the collection, Balan Wonderworld and Wasteland 2, both on Xbox. We have a lot more packages. Uh, I'm expecting there to be a lot more because we're missing a lot of stuff. Because I, I expected the entire second package to come and only one game from the second package came. So that's interesting. So I'll have to take a look and see if this was supposed to be more than one game or if it was just Battle of Underworld. So we'll see. But yeah, that's uh, round two of the pickups for today. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow with even more. So it's the next day and I once again attempted to go to GameStop to trade in my pile of games to pick up Skyward Sword and Hotline Miami collection. But for the second day in a row, their system is down for trade-ins. So the concern I have is the fact that after 48 hours, their, their pre-orders get put back on the floor. And of course, I can't pick mine up because I need to trade in stuff to get it. I talked to the, the employee and he told me everything would be okay, so we'll see. But obviously I wanna get those games because I pre-ordered them and I've been waiting for them for a while. So more than likely what I'm gonna have to do is, because Matt and I are gonna hang out today, I'm gonna ask him if he could take me to a different GameStop so that I can trade in those games and then come back to my GameStop and pick up my pre-order. So it's kind of a pain, but I mean, that's what I'm gonna have to do, it sounds like, because their system's still down. And other than waiting until it comes back up, which who knows how long that will be, that's really all I can do. So might be going to a different GameStop just to see what they have and go from there. All right, I got my next package from GameStop. I still have to go back to pick up my two pre-orders, but I got another package. Pretty sure I know which one this is, but let's find out. Because one of these games, I'm really, oh, it's not complete. That's disappointing. All right, so the first game up is Biomutant. So I picked this up for 40 bucks on sale, which considering this game just came out like at the end of May, that's pretty darn good. I'm actually pretty excited to play this. It looks fun, it looks unique. It didn't get amazing reviews, but I heard it's still pretty, pretty enjoyable. So I'm excited to add it to the collection. It's not sealed. It's again, one of those last copy new games. So it's got like a little sticker, but you know, solid addition to the collection. And then this one, even though it is not complete, considering the price I paid for it, I'm not complaining. I'm really not. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake on the Switch. So again, first party Nintendo game. I've actually had some pretty good luck over the last couple weeks picking up first party Nintendo games for dirt cheap. 
because in case you don't already know, first, Nintendo games rarely go on sale. Like, I mean, Breath of the Wild, which was a Switch launch title in 2017, is still $60. Every now and again, you can find them like on a little bit of a sale. Like I think GameStop just did a sale where they had some Nintendo first party games for like $45. But other than that, you rarely see Nintendo first party titles go on sale. This one, I'm pretty sure it was a pricing error, but I happened to be on at the right time and scooped it up along with Biomutant and Chivalry. This is still a $60 game. Even used, it's like 54 normally. For some reason, GameStop had it marked at $17.99. And then on top of that, I had a promo where if you buy a, no, it was actually, it was cheaper than $17.99. And then uh, GameStop had a promo where if you buy a new game priced at, no, no, it was, it was $17.99. If you buy one new game priced at $30 or more, you get, I think it's 20% off. And if you buy two, it's 50% off. So because Chivalry was 30 and Biomutant was 40, which they were already both on sale, I got this for 10 bucks, which even loose condition is still pretty darn good. And it's a full blown remake of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which was the Game Boy Legend of Zelda game. So now, once I go to GameStop and can pick up my other two games, I will have two different Legend of Zelda games that were made for the Switch. Obviously one's, well, they're both remakes, but still. Uh, so now I just need Breath of the Wild and the uh, Breath of the Wild 2. And I guess technically, the Hyrule Warriors ones, but whatever. And I'll be in pretty good shape in terms of having a nice collection of Zelda games on the Switch. So very happy with this. I wish it was complete. Obviously it's a little disappointing that it isn't, but at least I have a case for it. So that's something. And as you can see, chip is in the case. So Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for 10 bucks. Solid pickup. So yep, yeah, the next round. I'm supposed to be getting, I think two more packages tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're at a different GameStop now because I'm going to try to get my trading credit and then go to my home GameStop and pick up my games. It's an annoying process, but we're going to do it, so let's go. All right, so we got some more pickups. I was going to film another clip after I went to GameStop, but I was doing other stuff. So I have a couple pickups to show off. First, the stuff I picked up at GameStop and then some more packages that I got from GameStop. So first off, the two games I actually picked up in store, I had pre-ordered and had to go through a whole ordeal as I kind of explained, but in a nutshell, my store where I had my pre-orders, their trade system was down. So I had to go to a different store to get the trade-ins completed so I could pick up my copy. How I ended up having to do it is I traded all the games that I had in, picked up a copy of the game, one of the games, I did have to pay like a $1.50 out of pocket to pick it up from that store. Then I would go to my old store, or my, my normal store, returned that copy and picked up my pre-order so I got the pre-order bonus, and then had enough credit left over where I could pick up the other game. I also had to pay $1.50 or so for that. So I paid three bucks out of pocket because some of the trade-in values that I was given were not correct. Uh, they fluctuate, because they do. Uh, one game that their app said that they take, they apparently don't, so that was interesting. But anyway, I picked up Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Switch. I've never played this one. I know it was a, a big mainstay on the Wii, but I never actually played Skyward Sword, so I'm excited to be able to jump in. And apparently the, the new controls are actually pretty good, so I'm excited to try it out. Along with Skyward Sword, my pre-order bonus was this pretty slick looking Legend of Zelda poster. I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna put it in my room, but I'm definitely gonna put it up because that is sleek looking. It's also like kind of shiny and has some embossing on it. So definitely a cool little promo that I'm gonna put up proudly in my room. In addition to that, because I've never played this series and I heard they're good and I figured the Switch is kind of the perfect platform to play them on. I got the Hotline Miami collection. Now, if you don't know what this is, it is a, two pack of top-down high-octane action games. They're very violent, very gory, but they're styled like a like a 8-bit or a 16-bit game. I heard they're very good. I figured might as well pick up the, the collection and might as well pick it up on the Switch because I can't think of a better platform to play this on than the Switch. So two brand new Switch games to add to the collection. I also, trying to be a little sneaky, I did try to talk to 
the two stores that I went to and see if I could switch out my case for Link's Awakening and they would not. So I'm stuck with the loose copy basically. I mean, whatever, I only paid nine bucks for it and it's worth way more than that. So that's okay.